Aloha. How's it, everybody? I'm Gabe from the Hawaiian Institute of Self-Reliance. In today's video, I will show you how to make a survival bow. Quick, easy, but effective. All I will use is a knife and some paracord. I will limit myself to a couple feet of paracord. Stay tuned. Check out how to make a survival bow. In this video, I will be using guava. fruiting wood that grows in Hawaii, Florida, South America. A lot of places in the tropics I have guava. This one is pronounced guavi, strawberry guavi. Flexible but strong fruiting wood. And when I pick a bow, I'm looking for a natural curve. And this one has a natural curve. I think this one will work perfect. It's the right thickness. And you can see it has kind of a natural curve. Okay, let's chop her down. here so mark that and chop it and make sure your bowstring doesn't get wet now this isn't going to be fancy it's just going to work that's the main goal here Okay guys, I wanna show you how to make a super arrow. Same, same concept as a normal arrow, uh, straight as possible, not too thick, but not too thin that it would break. And we all know that we find soda cans or trash, uh, even camping, um, and you'd probably find some kind of soda can somewhere. Pick it up, it's very useful, because you can make an arrowhead by wrapping the soda can around the tip of the arrow. Right here. Something like that. And all you really need, let's say you had your medical kit. So you'd need your scissors, your shears, and a multi-tool. And some fishing line and you can make yourself a uh, aluminum arrowhead easily. So let's start by cutting the can.
don't leave any trash behind. Just basically want something like this. And you're going to start wrapping around your stick that you've already sharpened, this. And basically you're just going to reinforce the tip with aluminum. Wrap it like so. And that should be plenty right there. You don't want to make it too heavy, so it throws your aim off. So I'll cut it right about there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun getting all muddy and dirty. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great to get out in the jungle. And this bow is fairly effective against like, let's say small game, a pheasant or maybe a, a mongoose or something. Uh, I wouldn't uh, hunt boar with it. And all you need is a survival knife or some kind of knife. I got the Laraka survival knife. I really dig this knife and some paracord and I limited myself to a, a small amount of paracord in the jungle you don't want a big long bow you want a smaller bow uh, it's easier to maneuver and your shots are probably only going to be within 20 yards just because of the, the thickness and the dense uh, jungle I made an arrow remember the arrows uh, have to be straight as possible and I put some aluminum uh, on the end to make an arrow right here. And works out pretty good. And with the bow, you just remember you make a notch on each side, kind of like that. And then a notch for your arrow to guide, guide your arrow right here. And th this takes about five minutes. You know, you could take longer and actually make a proper bow, but I like the, the five, 10 minute builds um, just to make it quick and easy and, 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 and uh, get food as soon as possible or the potential to get food as soon as possible. I hope you liked this video, comment. I am here for any questions, subscribe. I've got uh, some other videos coming up about survival and jungle and um, uh, I really wanna make a shark tooth club 
out of stone tools and uh, I'm, I'm working on that project and that'll be coming up shortly and I hope you subscribe till next time aloha